This morning, the Nashville Zoo is celebrating a major breakthrough. News Channel 5's Kristen Scovier takes us behind the scenes where 24 hellbender salamanders were born in captivity. It's a room no bigger than a broom closet. We are in one of our off exhibit holding areas. But this is home to more than two dozen healthy hellbenders. They are North America's largest salamanders. They can get up to like two and a half feet long. They live in rivers full time. They like fast moving, clean, clear, cold water. Sherry Reinch is the zoo's lead herpetology keeper. That's the study of amphibians and reptiles. It's kind of being shy. And then we have our other one over here in this corner. She says the zoo is excited that after years of trials, they have a technique that works. We're trying to figure out captive breeding um, because up until now, we are the only institution that's ever bred the eastern hellbenders in captivity. These 24 eastern hellbenders are the largest success in seven years and represent a huge step towards repopulating hellbenders in the wild. The hellbenders are declining in most of their range, range-wide, because they're from New York and Pennsylvania all the way down to northern Alabama and Georgia. She says hellbenders are the canaries in the coal mine and their decreasing numbers are a bad sign. Hellbenders have been around for a really long time, um, and so for them to all of a sudden start having problems, it's really an indication that there's something wrong with, with our environment, um, and we really should be working towards fixing that because um, problems that they're having is, is related to us. We drink that water, we eat fish from that water. She hopes one day soon they can re-release genetically diverse hellbenders back into Middle Tennessee and says keeping our rivers and streams clean is critical for their survival. Kristen Scovira, News Channel 5. And you can see those first eastern hellbenders bred in human care in the Unseen New World exhibit at the Nashville Zoo.